Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at something else to do with borrow tanks and mods. Yay! Now, this is for the Bishop Cubed, which is a borrow tank, or RBA as well, uh, that fits inside a borrow mod. And this is the one that I've been using, and I'm using this in the Psycho Mods KBRS just now. Uh, but uh, I've been using this primarily, I should say, in Restricted Direct Lung Mode, uh, but I'll set this one up in Mouth to Lung Mode so that I can give you a comparison with the two and let you know how I've been getting on. But this was sent on to me by Vapor Bay UK, and it's you can buy it from those guys for £31, and they do have them still in stock. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's have a little looky and see what's inside the box. So here we go, uh, one uh, borrow tank, or RBA, call it what you want, uh, but it is, I should say, this is obviously a collaboration between the Vaping Gentleman Club and also Ambition Mods. So you're going to get one tank. Now this is all 316 stainless steel construction in here and it is PCTG that they are using for the tanks. Got another spare tank here, uh, also PCTG, and these the capacity for this is supposed to be five millilitres. In the base of the box, you will get this card here, and you will see that it gives you a list of all the pins that are included with this. It is dual-sided airflow on this device, but you do get a blanking pin. At its best, I would say it is restricted direct lung when fully open, and mouth to lung when closed right down. We've got a breakdown of all the parts included. Spares kit, spare gaskets, o-rings, screws, and uh, it does have the, in this pack, it does have the blanking pin. So once again, it is dual airflow on this one, but you can blank the one off in the back if you want to. You'll get two 1.6, two two mil air pins, and the two 1.2 mils are already installed in the device. As far as the device goes, if you want to change the tank out, You'll see this piece up here you can just unscrew this really straightforward and it makes it really easy to break this down and clean it out but that comes off and you can just pull the tank off change it over to the other one i think there's a an ultim one that you can buy as a, an accessory as well uh, but uh, yeah they go on and off no problem at all just like that now we do have a fill plug here which is a dual port uh, so there's there's you know on either side uh, but you can just lift up one side, it's big enough. The thing I, I do like about this, I know some people aren't maybe a fan of this dual-sided affair, you know, I can just take that off, but some borrow mods, when you put your tank inside, you know, it's a bit narrow or it closes it off kind of thing, but if you've got the dual-sided, then, it, you know, these mods that do have an issue with filling with the tank inside the device, it can help with that. But uh, I've had no issues with it, and it's dead easy getting the juice in there. If you don't have nails, it can be a bit of a pain in the, yeah, the nether regions. You'll see that we've got Ambition mods here, and uh, Bishop Cubed on the back here. Uh, the general rule of thumb that I tend to find here is that the, the way this all fits together sometimes can be a bit of a pain. When you're putting the tank back together, uh, make sure that the Ambition mods is always on the front. You want that facing out. So when you put this tank back on, uh, make sure that the fill plugs are on the same side as Ambition mods. And also remember that, see with the serial number there, you want it to be facing that way. When you pull the deck out, make sure that the serial number goes towards Ambition mods because it tends to go in the one way only. But uh, that's how it all fits together. Now the deck, uh, well actually before we take the deck out, I should say about the airflow. Now when you put this in something like a billet box or whatnot, now obviously it's dual air, so air's going to be hitting both sides of the coil. Uh, if you're wondering how air gets round the back, you can see that you've got this slotted affair going on here. So air will get round there, travel round the back and come inside this hole. It potentially can lead to issues with condensation, which we'll talk about at the end. Another thing I want to mention right here just now is that this will fit in most billet box type devices. Uh, however, 
the pin is just this is just a little bit on the long side uh, for example this will not fit in my SVA mod it will not fit in my wicket however I do know that it fits in some other people's wicket mods uh, or AIOs and I think there's been some issues trying to get it in like the pulse as well maybe but they are going to be releasing it's in production just now a shorter 510 pin that I think you'll be able to buy from the places that you buy this tank from. Uh, I do know that Vapor Bay are planning on getting them in and if you order something from the shop and you say that you've bought one of these from Vapor Bay, they'll give you it for free. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the position with this 510 pin. Just throw this on here a second just to get the deck out because obviously it just comes out like that. And the fact that it's 510 threaded, as always, is a major bonus. Uh, but what I want to show you is the air pins here. So you can see the pins there and I'll just grab a, a doohickey a doodah and it's just a simple case of just push and you can see that these pins come out no problem at all now the wicking holes for me um you can unscrew these wicking holes here you can and and it will enlarge these holes out for me vaping restricted direct lung um, say a 2.53 mil ID coil at about 25 and higher wattage I had to take these pins out these screws out here to enlarge the wicking holes if you're vaping mouth to lung um, or lower wattages like 20, 22 and lower then you will be okay with leaving these pins in or if you're using a heavier VG, quite a heavy VG, you possibly will have to unscrew these pins here. But once again, that just increases the size of the wicking holes. The deck is, is pretty straightforward. Uh, it really is straightforward. I'm just going to back off the screws here. And you can see that, that we have this line here. That's where your cotton's going to sit, is right in there. And you use so little cotton in this it's actually quite scary uh, but I'll back the screws off and uh, I'll show you the coil inside hopefully you can see there just with those backed off you can see that you know you can get the wires underneath there it's trapped against the side no problem at all coils in this is a three millimeter ID coil it is a fuse clapton full NI80 and it's coming out at 0.8 ohm there is not a huge amount of space in here uh, even though this this is quite a small fuse clapton, but the, I, I, this is not for big chunky wires. This is not for cloud chasing. This is my opinion is as high as you will go with this is restricted direct lung. I pulse the coil. There is no rocket science involved in this. You are literally cutting the cotton right to the edge here, just to the edge, and uh, you know just prime it up and then just make sure that the cotton's sitting in the little tray there and you will be fine. The only thing you have to remember is, depending if you're going mouth to lung, restricted direct lung, if you're using heavy VG, heavy PG, you may have to change up the amount of cotton you use and you may have to take out the wicking pins in the top section. It's all down to how you're going to vape it. I've just put a little bit of liquid on this and uh, we are good to go there. Slap my tank back on, just makes it easier to unscrew it here. And once again, we're going with the two 1.2 air pins in here just to try it out. I've got a sneaking suspicion that we'll have to put in a blanking on the back uh, uh, just to get a, a proper mouth to lung, but we'll see how it goes. So here we are. We have uh, restricted direct lung setup or the widest it will go, which is the two 2 mil air pins in this one uh, with a 0 0.36 ohm coil. And this one, I am using a 0 0.8 ohm coil and I've actually got the 1.2 pin and a blanking pin in the back. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, so let's go check it out. Just remember, this is 31 pounds. Uh, this, this is, and it comes with two PCTG tanks, 316 stainless steel. You get various air pins with it. It's 31 pounds. It comes with a 510 built into it with it. No messing about with adapters and things like that, which is a big thumbs up. And it's dual airflow on this. So you've got airflow from the back and the front, which is, is great. Um, it really is. Now, as far as it goes for airflow, now, I, for me, this is as wide as it'll go, and 
I think that's a very loose restricted direct lung or a tight direct lung. It, it, it's That's as open as it can go. With that, I'm using a 70VG. I've got the pins taken out of the wicking holes, so I'm using it as wide as it'll go. Uh, and it keeps up no problem. The cotton's just a little bit looser and um, it's behaved itself great. It, it's I've, I've had no real problems with that at all. Um, the condensation I'll come back to in a second. Uh, as far as this goes, this is, remember this is just a 1.2mm pin on the front. I've got a blanking plate in the back and a 0 0.8 ohm coil and That's 13 and a half watts. And that to me actually feels like a one mil draw. Um, with the two 1.2s on it, it feels more like, a, it doesn't feel, it feels like a 1.2 to me. It doesn't feel as airy as I thought it was gonna do with the two 1.2s. So, and just with one 1.2, it feels like a one mil. The juice I'm vaping here just now is a peppermint and I'm getting plenty of flavor from it. It's. I'm not getting the, the cheeks going in as much as I would with a 0.8mm draw, I mean a right true mouth to lung, but it's given me what I think a 1mm draw type person would, and obviously you can go from 1mm all the way up to that restricted direct lung or very tight direct lung. So there's, I think there's enough in here to most people would be happy with. Um, Cons with this, uh, obviously your coil's got to be wrapped a certain way. Um, the wicking is, I find it to be very, very easy on this. Uh, very easy. The airflow, if your air is only coming from underneath, then it may, yeah, it'll tighten it up a fair bit. i am actually just moved that mouth to lung vape that I've got, build I've got going on. I've moved it back into this Delro where the airflow is only from underneath the front. Uh, and it is is definitely a bit tighter than when I was using it in the drop where I can get full air going on. It, it's just... That's just, once again, that's just with a device where the air's coming from underneath. Um, anything else, I think you'll be fine. <sighs> Other negatives condensation i have seen some people complaining about the fact that uh, they get a lot of condensation because there's an air pin on the back um i think that's going to come down more to the way you take your draw do you do a slight purge at all do you take all the you know the vapor out of the the device when you're vaping most people that use a borrowed tank they all know about this stuff they all know that they have to draw all the vapor out or you get condensation build up some I've seen some people that know this but are still getting condensation at the back and I've seen some people say that they've not had any trouble with it at all. I haven't had any problems with it at all. That That's all I can tell you. I've not seen it being soaking wet behind the tank in any of my borrowed devices. So that's, that's all I can share with you. The other one is, please check. Um, I know for a fact it will not fit in an SVA. Uh, it will not fit in an SVA. Uh, it will fit in some Wicket devices, AIOs, some it won't fit in, uh, depending on the contact. You may want to check. However, they are aware of this issue and they are releasing an updated pin that will shorten, a shorter 510 pin that will help remedy that situation and I think it's going to be like 199 for this pin or Vapor Bay will give it to you for free if you'd bought it from them in the first place. Uh, but that is about it. Um, it's £31. You have... Yeah, I'm going to put the price in this. You have to remember for £31, you're getting all these pins. It's it's getting two tanks. What you're getting for your money is very good. I think the flavour is very good. I prefer this restricted direct lung as opposed to mouth to lung. Uh, I think the dual sided two 1.2s work the best rather than blunt. I don't think the flavour's as good 
with one side blocked off. That's just my take on it. Um, but I think for the money, and I think it's pretty damn good. Thank you to Vapor Bay once again for sending these on to try out. They've got them in stock, £31. And thank you to you guys for watching. Please, please, please go check out Facebook groups, uh, user groups, forums, uh, and go and see what other people are saying because these are already in the hands of normal people so you can get a, a broad viewpoint and feedback on how folk have been getting on with these devices. But uh, thank you once again. We'll catch you very, very soon. Bye for now.